Hockey and Jump Nation family, it's your boy here, Rushi S, aka The Jump Rope Coach. Yes guys, I have a beginner tutorial for you today, it's going to be short, sharp and quick. This move is absolutely epic and it's one that I saw Floyd Mayweather doing and it's how I start all of my routines, it's how I come in and out of combos and I feel that I've seen a lot of beginners try this move and they're tripping up straight away because they're not understanding the technique of how to basically go from a one-handed side swing to then opening up the rope and to start skipping. If you master this move, it will definitely take your job rope game to the next level, guys. Don't forget, if you are new to Rush Athletics TV, you want to say a massive welcome. This is the home of jump rope tutorials, everything you need to know about how to skip like a boss. It's also the home to the most hottest speed rope on the planet. This is the Rush Athletic Speed Rope, aka the money rope. Please head down to my website, www.rushathletics.co.uk. Make sure you cop it. We're also on most major Amazons across the world. Amazon Asia coming very soon, guys. One quick thing to mention about this move. It's gonna be very difficult to do it if you're using a mechanism rope or if you're using a heavy rope. Best way to do this move is if you have a speed rope. Right, let's get straight into this tutorial. Don't need to mess around. It's gonna be super quick, guys. So the main concept of this move is literally when Floyd used to do it, when I used to watch him doing it, he would be doing these one-handed side swings and all he's simply doing is passing the rope to his other hand and then you'll start skipping. Where most people go wrong with this move is literally they're holding the rope incorrectly from the beginning. So they're holding it like a kind of baseball back grip. And as they're rotating the rope kind of beside them, what tends to happen is the rope gets very tangled, like super tangled already. Simply because they, they don't use the right technique here. So as you can see, the rope becomes tangled and then Instantly, what they try to do is they move over to their kind of left hand side, in my case, or their other hand. They pass the rope over and then they already go straight into skipping. And of course, the rope is tangled at this point. Now, this isn't the fault of the jump rope or anything like that. It's just simply a case of your rope is always going to tangle if you're going to basically spin it like this. It's going to twist and twist and twist. These ropes do not tangle, as you can see. They open up very easily. But what you need to do from the beginning is get your index finger right through the middle of the both handles. On both of the handles, you put your index finger through, you clasp it here, and you clasp towards the top of the jump rope. So you're actually holding a lot of the rope here with your thumb, then your fin index finger goes in between, and you can see all the rest of my fingers are at the top of the jump rope now. From this point, now you're in a good position because as you rotate this rope, your knuckle being in between the ropes will keep that separation to a certain degree, right? And you also want to kind of feel like your knuckle is pushing the rope forward. So you're not kind of twisting your wrist like this. You're really getting that knuckle to go forward and drive the rope forward. So if you come a little bit closer here, G. So as I'm doing this move, you come around on this side so you can see the, the knuckle moving. I actually feel the rope right through the fingers and the knuckle rather than my wrist kind of spinning the rope. Now at this point, you will see the rope coming together. This is the point where beginners go wrong because what they try to do is they try to pass the rope over and they open it first time and there's the trip. The bottom of the rope still needs to kind of untangle itself. So what we're gonna do quickly is we're gonna go from here. Now you've got the right technique on your fingers. You're gonna pass it over to your left hand or your right hand. I'm gonna quickly show you how that pass over happens and how it happens smoothly. The way I do it, is whilst your fingers, you've got your knuckle in between here, this is the other side. This is how the other side looks. As I'm doing the pass over, what happens is I literally open up my hand, I then clasp the rope with my other hand, and I've got a nice separation there, right through the fingers. If you have the baseball back grip, and you try to pass, what tends to happen is it slides out your hand, you can lose both ropes. And having the index finger right here, you can pass it, and you can still keep your thumb right on top of this other hand, on, on, on this other rope, sorry, so it doesn't fall out. So there you go, so you've now made this separation. You now have done the hand pass over. So we're at this point, this is gonna be super quick, this tutorial, guys. So we're here, you've now done the pass over. We're here now. At this point, you don't open the rope. You don't open the rope straight away because that's what's gonna lead to your trip. That's what's gonna to lead to your trip. What you need to do is you need to do another two or maybe sometimes three side swings to unravel the rope. But what you're gonna do is, you're up to here now. Now you just need to learn this move here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now this move is gonna help you unravel the rope and help you look slick. And a lot of people do get this wrong because they simply do this kind of really wonky, really wrong, that kind of like leaning over. And I've got a side swing kind of tutorial, but this double side swing, what you need to do if I slow it down is when you move over to each side, the hands basically have to move on top of each other. My left hand comes over the top, 
we swing and then they change position for the second swing. So now, that's the first position. Hit the camera. That's the first position here. And then we spin it around and that's the second position. One, two. So we go over the top and then it becomes underneath. So once you learn how to do that, you're actually untangling the rope in any situation. If I spin the rope here, you untangle it. From this point now, if I do a couple of double side swings, we should basically open up the rope. When you're ready to open up the rope, this is where you need to be super slick guys with your footwork. It's the last point I'm gonna quickly mention today. The reason why Floyd does this kind of so well and makes it look epic is because literally he's got his feet bouncing as he's moving the kind of rope kind of to one side to the other before he starts his skipping. So for example, he's here, he's bouncing, he's got his footwork on timing. Every time this rope clips the ground, he's jumping. Every time he moves it to each side, he's jumping. And then when he's ready to open the rope, he's skipping. When you get really good at it, with the one-handed side swings, you won't even need to unravel the rope too many times because you just understand where the rope is, how the tangles are, and you can do it as fast as you want. What I love about this move, guys, um, the last point I'm gonna make today is how you can utilize it, how you can use it. So at the beginning of your skipping routines, you see a lot of people doing it. This is how they start, this is how I start. A couple of one-handed side swings, you move it to the side, start skipping. But also, when you're doing transitions, so like you're in a few combinations, you can then go into your one-handed side swings, take a breather, get your breath back, and then when you're ready, open out the rope, go again, go into another routine. And then back into one-handed side swings. So, Guys, that's gonna wrap up the tutorial today. I'm super out of breath. Whew. But just take away those tips. Hopefully you find it useful. Comment down below if you have any other requests and let me know how you're getting on with this move. It's quite difficult to be honest with you. It looks more simpler than it is. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take time and patience as always. If you enjoyed this tutorial, found it useful, once again, please give me a big thumbs up. It'll really help me. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't. We're building one of the most slickest and most incredible jump rope communities across the globe. Guys, we've got a lot of love for you and I can't wait to bring you more value as always. So without further ado, I'm gonna check you in the next video. Take care of yourself, let's get the treadmill, stay safe, peace. For those that try and hate on speed ropes or cheap vinyl ropes, they say it tangles, they say they're cheap. I'll spin this around, super tangled. Baby, these ropes are tangle free. Better believe it.